this Ellis battery, and right behind me is Lambert's. So, when you need a good battery, that's where they say to come. Now they're working on this. They're gonna make this one of them diamonds. One day I'm gonna do a video about how the diamonds work and what they do. But that's when you see the construction there. They're gonna widen it and make it a diamond. Never seen them done before, but they seem to work. So I may even show a, a little bit about the diamonds in this video. You see that rebar sticking up right there? That's what they're gonna do. Or when it's cold like this. Look, they even got a, they got a video camera. It'd be interesting to see the footage on that. Well, you can see they got the caps. And it's gonna look good when they get through. A diverging diamond interchange, also known as a DDI, allows two directions of traffic to temporarily cross to the left side of the road. A DDI moves high volumes of traffic through an intersection without increasing the number of lanes and traffic signals. This movement provides easier access to an interstate. Traffic entering or exiting the interstate does not have to cross opposing traffic to make a left turn. When driving a DDI, motorists proceed through a traffic signal at the entrance to the interchange and simply follow their lane to the opposite side of the roadway. Both directions of traffic drive on the opposite side of the road before crossing back and resuming their original pattern. DDIs allow free-flowing turns when entering and exiting an interstate, eliminating the left turn against oncoming traffic and limiting the number of traffic signal phases. Traffic signals, signs, pavement markings, and a raised concrete island where lanes crisscross will guide you and keep you from turning into a wrong lane. Motors traveling NC-123 will drive straight through the first traffic signal and cross in front of oncoming traffic that has stopped on your right at a traffic signal. Then you'll be on the left side of the bridge with the opposing lanes on your right, separated by concrete barriers. You can then proceed to the other side of the bridge where you'll cross at another traffic signal back over to the right side of the road. To get to I-40 towards the left, you will use the left lane. The turn onto the I-40 ramp will be a free left turn, meaning no need to stop. Motorists needing to access I-40 to the right will remain in the right lane and exit off. The DDI makes it easy to know which side of the road to be on when turning onto the interstate. To turn left, stay in the left lane. To turn right, stay in the right lane. If you exit eastbound I-40 to go north on NC-123, when the signal is green, you will turn onto the left lanes of northbound NC-123 on the bridge. If you are driving westbound I-40 to southbound NC-123, you will turn onto the left lanes of southbound NC-123 on the bridge. If you exit eastbound I-40 to go south on NC-123 or westbound to go north, you will stay in the right lane to exit. Movements are simpler, easier, and quicker. The blue line demonstrates the path that cyclists will use while riding in a diverging diamond interchange. They will stay to the right side of the road as they would on any other interchange. However, because there are fewer and shorter crossing movements, bicycle movements are easier and safer. The orange line demonstrates the path for pedestrians. Pedestrians will use the sign crosswalks and then use the walkway down the center of the bridge between the barriers. Even though this is unusual, the crisscross vehicular paths make the center of the bridge the safest location for a pedestrian walkway. All street crossings are shorter than in a standard interchange and will be under signal control.